You want me to put that on my todger? This one's wife. Do the duty. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. If you can rely upon one member of the royal family to be straight talking, it is the Princess Royal, Princess Anne. An individual who understands the meaning of service and getting on with it, rolling up your sleeves and doing what you're committed to doing, recognising that she has a life of privilege, but with that comes an expectation, an understandable one, that you demonstrate service. As a normal Princess Anne is an individual that does have emotional empathy, but for a smaller group of people. But she also has strong narcissistic traits. She's no nonsense. She calls it as it is. And many people admire her as a consequence of her hardworking nature, her substantial work ethic, and the fact that she's plain talking. This, of course, would have been problematic for this one's wife, and so it proves, as GB News tells us, Princess Anne issued tough and no-nonsense advice to this one's wife. Do the duty. Dorothy Reddin writes, Princess Anne issued some no-nonsense advice to this one's wife, a royal commentator has claimed. The Princess Royal told the Duchess of Sussex that being a member of the royal family is a job as opposed to being a celebrity. Being told that will have been challengeful for this one's wife. The fact that Princess Anne is engaging with her provides her with fuel, thus that is not an issue. The issue is this. The fact that she is being told you can't swan around in expensive clothing which you've ponced off people for free you need to do some graft. No, not grift. Listen carefully. It's spelled differently. It's graft. This is a job, and you have to apply yourself. This one's wife is inherently lazy as well as being rather stupid, and she believes that everything should be provided to her for free. You might think that's an extraordinary worldview to have, but it is the one that she has, all generated by her narcissism. Her narcissism tells her that she is ultra-special, and therefore she should receive special treatment, which means you should give her lots of money and she doesn't have to do anything in return. That other people can do all of the heavy lifting, she'll just issue the instructions. And thus, for Princess Anne to tell her, this is something where you have to do your duty, and it's a job, would not find favour with her. Royal commentator Neil Sean took to his YouTube channel to explain how this one's wife sought out Princess Anne when she joined the royal family. Undoubtedly this will have been done because this one's wife wanted to assert control over Anne and sought to do so by having a meeting with her. It wasn't because she thought to herself, who can I go and speak to who's been doing this job years who will provide me with the best information about how I should conduct myself? I know, that'll be Princess Anne. She's long in the tooth, part of the old guard. She's seen much come and go. She'll be an ideal person to talk to to give me some hints and tips and so that I can navigate this new role for me much more successfully. That isn't the way that this one's wife's mind works. Instead, it's who can I get on side to make my life easier? And thus she swans in, attempting to win over the Princess Royal. The Princess Royal, of course, as a normal, is less susceptible to the manipulative wiles of an individual such as this one's wife. Furthermore, she has been around the block and she has seen many of the behaviours of narcissists, not necessarily realising that's what they are, but she'll have recognised a certain type of character, a certain type of behaviour, and she will have notice the way that this one's wife behaved at an early juncture and marked her card. Neil Sean said that this senior royal takes no nonsense, much like her father, the late Duke of Edinburgh. Apparently, when this one's wife joined the royal family, she sought out Princess Anne. According to a very good source, Princess Anne gave very sage advice to the new royal. The royal commentator up opened up on the tough, no-nonsense advice that Anne gave to this one's wife. Princess Anne reiterated this mantra. She pointed out that it wasn't a working monarchy. It was a job. 
You turn up on time, you do your research, and do the duty, Sean added. It's all about the project at hand. She also pointed out that whatever charities you are involved in, you needed to get involved and get immersed. As opposed to taking the advice head on, Sean claimed that this one's wife left the meeting dumbfounded. He continued, According to a very good source, this one's wife failed to warm to Princess Anne, and Princess Anne always knew that this one's wife would have a very short shelf life in the world of the British monarchy. Indeed, as I've identified as a normal, she'll have noticed that there was something not right about her behaviours, that she'll have been seen as too demanding, too thrusting, too elbowing her way in, and not prepared to put in the hard yards. Naturally, when being told, this isn't about playing at being princess and dressing up, you've actually got to do some graft, that would not have gone down well with this one's wife, hence her leaving the meeting dumbfounded. The article concludes by explaining that this one's wife and Prince Harry stepped down as senior working royals in 2020. The couple moved to California, where they are currently raising their two children, Prince Archie IV and Princess Lilibet II. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex made their last joint appearance in the United Kingdom for Queen Elizabeth II's funeral in 2022. Thus, we have an excellent example of what happens when the narcissist, this one's wife, comes into contact with the straight-talking normal that is Princess Anne. Princess Anne isn't going to be swayed by the faux-sugary exterior of this one's wife, and she's there to tell her, look, you're in this family now, this is the way that it is. That was not what this one's wife wanted to hear. She wants the easy ride. She wants money for nothing. She wants everybody to rush around after her, believing that she is a princess. The way that her father taught, uh, treated her has basically been amplified throughout her life, where she expects the men in her life to run around after her and treat her like a princess, that her friends should be like servants, that the people who are actually her staff should do whatever she wants whenever she demands it of them, and it doesn't matter if she shouts and screams at them, they should suck it up, because she is this one's wife and everybody should obey her. Princess Anne was always going to see through this one's wife. She was always going to be able to identify that she was a work shirker, that she was a work shy fop, that she was only in it for the glamour, and that is not the point of being a member of the royal family. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.